G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with more of our Skyrim Anniversary Edition Arbalest playthrough, where we are playing as an Arbalest, a crossbowman, and it's working out absolutely wonderfully. After spending a few streams in the Dwarven House, I am back in Mere Watch. Well, back as in I've used Mere Watch in other playthroughs. Um, I just like it a little bit better. It's a little bit more compact. Um, the only problem it has is fire, access to firewood. Which I do need a bit of as an archer. Um, but that's okay. What we are going to do... I've, I've moved everything over and sold everything I don't want. So we are all done. We have our food down here in the kitchen uh in the barrel ready to go if we need to we've got the cooking pot actually what i haven't done is planted some veggies upstairs let's quickly go and do that now that i remembered that uh how many spots do we have uh yes so what i want to do here is i want uh, cabbages in this one. So this side will be cabbages. There we go. And this side will be potatoes. like such and then leeks will go in the middle because leeks are generally a little bit harder to find out and about in the world even though currently I have more leeks than I do cabbages but that's fine I can go to almost any farm on the map and find cabbages. Um, leeks are not quite as easy to find. And in, you know, any number of barrels and stuff, if I was to look in them, I would find cabbages. Oh, I'm putting... What am I doing putting cabbages in there? I want to be putting leeks in there. There we go. What did I have in that? I don't know, but I'm not sure if I put leek in it or not now. I think I was talking about cabbages and I put the wrong thing. So let's just make sure. Hang on. Was that cabbage or that leek or potato that went in there? This one. I know that one was right. So anyway, once they grow up, if they're a problem, I can always change them. Okay, I've put a lot of the armor sets out. I can't put all of them out because even though I have a lot more um, mannequins here, I don't have enough to do everything. So that is the Corrupted Vigil set. Oh. Oh, that's right. I was going to... No, yeah. I wanted to take the Corrupted Vigil set out there, out of there and make it the Orcish Plate set. So I've got to put the Orcish Plate back in. There we go. Um... So we've got a set of the Vigil armor. We've got the Orcish plate. We've got the... Uh, is that the... No, that's not the Steel Soldier. That's the Iron... No, that is the Steel Soldier. Right. Uh, we've got another... The Vigil Veteran armor set, uh, which I might end up changing out. I probably only really need one set of Vigil armor. Um, 
the leather scout minus the hood i keep saying i gotta remake that the uh heavy plate daedric armor i think i was putting yeah so i was putting the extra armor sets that i wasn't using in here so let's just put the corrupted set in there very nice um i also have put the enhanced imperial crossbow that i was using the ebony crossbow that i haven't uh made enhanced yet and uh sunder is there um we'll get to wraith guard in a minute the bow of shadows um nothing there of course so that is the iron plate armor set uh, this is the Dwarven Plate Armor set with the Wraith Guard Gauntlets, no helm. Um, the Heavy Dawn Guard Armor, and that's because there's the Dawn Guard Rune Hammer, Rune Axe, Harken Sword, and the Rune Shield here. Uh, I'm not sure what I've got to do to get those. I think maybe the other guy's quests. Um, the, steel, the Ebony Spell Knight Armor and the Steel Spell Knight and the iron spell knight i may end up taking the iron the steel and the iron ones and putting them away when i get if i get other weapon other armor sets to make up everything else is set up the way i really want it to uh what am i carrying now that i don't want it feels like i'm carrying something because i thought a minute ago i had oh the vegetables let's go and put those away That's feels a little bit better. We've got one void salt. Six torches. I don't really want six torches. I think two will be enough. Let me go and put the other two away in my... Uh, in here. Go. What else do we have in there? The silver gauntlets and helmet that I was using, which aren't as good as the current enchanted gauntlets and helmet that I've got um, let's take the pickaxe with us because we're probably going to need it at some point point. and we're going to head off and we're going to do the rest of the pet quests try and find all of the pets of Skyrim that's my initial goal for this stream but there may be more to it afterwards we will see uh, Dwarven Bolts very good So, where do we have to go for the pets of Skyrim? One of them is still here. Purchase a tamed goat from Halva. I've actually already done that. So, that feels like... Find the tamed spider. Find the tamed rabbit. Is there anything else? Oh, and find the tamed fox. Right. Let's come back from the Knife Point Ridge and get the Tamed Fox first, I think. I was just going to say, there are going to be wolves, because there are always wolves. I get into a position where I can snipe you guys. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I need it. I don't normally just shoot people like that, but I really have a thing for this quest. I hate it. I thought they were right. There. Ah, there's one there. Did you see someone run past just now? Yes. How did you get this? Uh, oh, never mind. Here, 
It's not much, but it's something. I'm going to track down that thief and murder him. Too late. So where's the other wolves? Don't actually see them. But I feel like they've got to be right there somewhere. And it's only one, thankfully, by the looks of it. Yeah. Okay. Body there. body there. So... That's the one at Warwick's dead. Okay, yeah. Or what? Now ain't this a surprise? up in the tower and all he can think about is counting out my coin. chest down here. Anything upstairs? Just garbage. Advances in lock picking. I don't need it, but I'll take it. A chest. Don't want the leather boots. And the Wolf Queen, new arrows. Let's level up. What are we going to do with this level up? Enchanting is definitely a possibility. I don't want to go to Orcish Smithing, so we can't do anything there yet. But only three more levels and we can get... Um, the... Is it Advanced Smithing? Yeah, arcane blacksmithing. I definitely need to put some more points into heavy armor. Well fitted would be a good option. Um, and but I think I'm going to take. I've been. I want to get more bolts back, so we will take that. Did I search here before? I did. Of course I did. Why would I not have searched? Uh, 
Yeah, nothing in there I want. So... Where is the fox going to be? At this camp, potentially? Definitely not at this camp. He's further away than that. Uh, I don't want frost salts. I want void salts. That was empty. Nothing there. Oi. How did that miss? Getting upset now that I'm getting misses that I shouldn't be getting. Didn't spawn any other mud crabs. I was going to say, I don't think I've been here before, but I actually do think I have been here before. Damn it. Definitely. Should have used that. Kill the first one, or has it come after me? It went invisible. I don't really want to be in the water if that second... Um, this brigand is still alive. No, nope, they're both dead. Wonderful. Take the dwarven bolt, thank you. What do you have? Void salts. Definitely a good thing. Was there anything under the water here? Doesn't really look like it. Now... We, when I shot at the water, I threw a book up out of the water and right there. Another alchemy increase. Wonderful. Uh, which direction am I going? Yes. Still going over this way. We've got some back, so. Better than nothing. That's still... No, I'm heading for the wrong one. 
Main wolf is up this way. Heard something. Said that it might only be the tame wolf. There he is. I don't have a collar for him. But he looks like he's already got one. Oh, sweet roll. Your master died. Did they? How do I find out more about the fox? Oh, I guess I have to read the journal. Uh, Guess being a Bosma really gives me away with animals. This little fox wandered up to me today, bold as brass, and started begging for treats. I didn't have anything on me at the time but a sweet roll, but it seemed to like that well enough. I wonder if this gift with animals works on horses. It would make stealing them dead easy. The fairy nuisance won't leave me alone. It's been following me everywhere, even down into the sewers. At least it's quiet enough that it won't alert the guards. The fox has a real nose for sniffing out valuables. Thanks. Reggae... Is that Reggae Bowl? I think it is. Thanks for the follow. Or Reggae Bow. There we go. That was an exclamation mark at the end. Um, sniffing out valuables. Just this morning, she dug a silver locket out of the mud. I never would have seen it if she hadn't started pouring out the ground. She must be attracted to shiny things. Can't say I blame her. Finding sweet rolls turned out to be the best stroke of luck I've had in a while. She's got better eyes and instincts than any thief I've ever met, including Vex. I can't remember the last time my coin purse was this heavy. I'm starting to jingle like a battalion of Imperials when I walk. I think I'll try out this animal taming thing on wolves outside of town. Some of the other thieves have been eyeing me recently. I would think twice if I had a wolf at my heels. Okay, so then we have to give her a sweet roll. And now I want you to wait for me at home in Mere Watch. I know you don't like that, but I need to see if I can put a pack on you. Um, and a couple of wolves that killed him. Um, I feel like I should probably fast travel to Warwickstead to see if I can get this marker off the map. Sort of doubt I can, because I've already bought Hilda. But if I talk to him, yes. I can't talk to him. So that quest is not completable anymore. That part of it anyway. That is fine. So... What have we got? There was the rabbit over here. The spider over there. And the skeever over there. Let's do the, sh the walk from Helgen. Through to Iverstead. And then we'll go and find the rabbit. This puts us in good stead for when we do finally, eventually, at some point in the far distant future... Do the main quest line. Because then we'll just be able to fast travel to Iverstead. Quick save would be good. Just in case.
Here comes the snow. I almost wish I had a horse for this. I'm actually tempted to go and get the Dwarven horse. It's a very big quest, though. Um, but I feel like I wouldn't mind having a horse, and having the Dwarven one seems like the best option to me. Oh, let's see. Whatever your name is there, goodbye. You are going to get... Let's have a look. Um, we're going to report you for spam. I think it's a bot. There we go. Let's just uh, sell this properly. Offering to sell followers. And we're going to block them as well. Well done. Okay. Can I get rid of that comment as well? Uh... No. Oh, there we go. Uh, ban timeout. Yeah, let's just do the ban as well. Let's rid of the text. Wonderful. Sorry about that, everyone. A little, as we know, a little bit annoying when we get people doing that. Who would want to pay for followers? I, I don't. I don't get it. It's not that important a number to me. Seriously, if you're streaming or you're on YouTube or whatever and you feel like you need to buy followers or subscribers or what have you, you need to rethink what you're doing because I'm doing this because I like to play games and if people want to watch while I do that, great. I'm not in it to make money. I'm just here having some fun. Um, at the moment, I don't have any advertising turned on on my YouTube account. Um, if people want to donate on stream, they can. I'm not going to stop them. Um, you know, but I'm I'm just here playing some games, having some fun, offering my perspective on. Things that I see in the games. Uh, I don't claim to be, you know, an absolute expert, but, you know, a fresh idea, a new perspective in any situation is always a good thing. Anyway, enough of that. We are not far from... Ivor's dead now. The rabbit is actually going to be sort of not in Ivor's dead. The rabbit that we're looking for is probably going to be over near the camp. The, um, is it's an imperial camp, I think. Yes, right there on the map. Oh, no, the rabbit might be at the alchemist's hut. Yes, that might be where the rabbit is. Okay, what bad what bad beastie do we have here? Those goats were just running from wolves. Where are they? Right there. Damn it, I just wasted. Ooh, 
you discovered me just at the last minute. Did I get rock joint from you? Damn it, I did. I do actually have a potion of, of um, cure disease on me, so I guess I can always use that. I have several of them. Just make sure that, yep, it got rid of it. Very good. We will quick save. And yes, the rabbit is here at the alchemist's shack. Out here. Hello there, Thistle. Hey, buddy, are you hungry? Okay, so we've got to find what he wants to eat. Find a treat for Thistle. Um, I'm going to say that maybe those two carrots there might be it, but let's read the note. Oh, well, yeah, probably Thistle. Yeah, now that I think about it. I've resorted to plying it. No, he is plying it with carrots. Well, there you go. I'm going to take those fire salts, even though I don't really want them. And I'm going to take that book just to get it out of the way. Wooden bowl. Do you have any void salts here? You've got more fire salts, and you've got some frost salts. That goes home with me. Some glow dust. Let's just take a carrot. I don't want canis root. I don't really think I need the filter of the night, but I'll take it anyway. And that is a leak in a basket, which sounds really weird. Hey, you want a treat? There you go. Uh, wait for me at home. Let me a watch. Very good. I need a... I'm going to need to make a collar for him, her, whatever. And we want to head out over here and be a little bit careful because there's either going to be... It's usually one of three things coming out here into this open area uh, after this valley. It's either going to be a, well, four. Very, very rarely, it is a troll. I think I've only seen the troll once. Um, it could be a bear, although there is a bear down there at where that hillock is. Um, or it'll be a giant frost spider. Or it'll be some more wolves. And it's wolves. No, it's a bear chasing the... Um... Oh, actually. There we go. There may still be some wolves or skeevers or something down there. But that bear is right there, and I need to kill him because you know, there's also going to be another bear over there. Yep, I'll take all of that. You know what? I'm having such... I won't say a good time. I'm having a fairly easy time taking on these bears at the moment. And so as such, I'm going to go into Honey Strand Cave and take on the bears in there.
So there's one up there. And then there's that one there. And that is it. That's Honey Strand Cave. So much easier doing it like that than coming in here any other way. I mean, I could have done that with a bow, a normal bow, but it's just a little bit slower to draw. There's not quite the guarantee that I would have got those bolts off, as, those arrows off as quickly as I got those bolts off. Um, yeah. The fact that I'm doing triple damage and the fact that crossbow bolts do more damage and I've got the exploding bolts. Which reminds me, switch back to the normal ones for the moment. Uh, that is pointing back towards Rorikstead. We don't need to go there. I will go into Iverstead. Um... Actually, I feel like I want to just creep over here. There we go. Oh, that's a fox. Almost shot Mr. Fox for no reason. Um... Yeah, more wolves. Where are they? Are they down there? That must have hit, and that must have landed right between his legs. Are you the only wolf? None others have run up towards me. Sometimes there's like a skeever down in there. Um, I am also tempted. I don't know why I'm picking up this pelt, because I frankly don't need it. I would like that bolt back, but you're not going to do it. Um, I want to come over here to this dwarven site as well, because I think there's a few... Like ingots, etc., I can get out of this. Where is. Let's be over this way. The entrance to it. Yeah, there it is. There will be some bandits, so we will sneak from here. I thought there was usually a bandit down here guarding it at this entrance. Oh, yep. Can he not see me? He can. else. Okay, that was a little annoying, getting attacked by a spider from behind. It's, uh, I'm not really a sports person, but that's not cricket, is probably the apt expression there. Gold, nothing else. I know there is something with that, but I can never remember what you've got to go and gather up to do that thing. I don't really feel like. Maybe there's not as much dwimmer around here as I would like. Um, there's liable to be a bear just over there. Ooh. 
corundium ore. We'll take that. It goes very well with iron to make steel. This one out of the way. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're not going to get any Dwemer out of this. Uh, I'll leave that bear alone. He's not doing any harm to me right at this moment. Um, I think it's those Saturian core things that I've got that you're supposed to go and put one of them in here. But, I don't know, I've never actually tried. I really, sh I, I suppose I should just to see one time. I have one back at home and that's marked on the map now, so I can come back and do it. Uh, Iverstead. is in this general direction. That is... box. Saw something moving over in that general direction. Now I do not. I'll spell out if it's a problem. I have just been a deer. I also feel like it's been a little while since I've been attacked by vampires, so I'm keeping an eye out. like someone in a black robe walking towards me. It could be that guy that goes to the Shrine of Azoth or whatever it is. Right, I don't know what that was about. He was a vampire? It just says Traveller. Vampire gauntlets? I've never seen vampire gauntlets before. Maybe he was a thrall. Can I... get you into a position where I can see your face? You gonna roll over for me? What I need to see. Damn it, I need to see your face. Right. Now. We've got this face that looks like his nose looks really weird. His eyes are closed, so it's hard to tell whether he is a vampire or not. Look at that weird face, the line down the middle, the very sort of alien looking nose. Guard might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Oh shush. Okay. Uh from here there is a tamed spider down that way. G'day, Saint Salvius. I'm doing good. Oh, I assume it's good that you had to end the job early today. Um, yeah. Where 
we're in the process of getting all of the excuse me all of the pets we've just found the fox and the rabbit and we have the tamed spider and the skeever to go and i've also moved my house from frostroot cave up to mere watch because it feels like it's easier to um to do that um it's it's got a, it's got mere watch has more mannequins to put armor on is basically the main reason um this is kind of out of the way but I'm going to do Fort Mole. So I've got, uh, I found multiple armor sets. Well, let's go back and have a look at them. We might as well. I, was, I doubt my animals are going to be back yet, but I can always summon them. Oh no. Sweet roll is back. I'm curious if I take your pack off and I put it on sweet roll. No, I can't. Okay, let's put the pack back on sweet roll then. Very good. I don't see Thistle anywhere. I sort of figured Thistle would be hopping around in here somewhere if they had made it back. So let's summon Thistle if we can. I'm sort of assuming we can. There we are. I need to make a collar for you, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't give me the option. Um, let's... No, I want to do this. Let's get that spell out of that hand, please. Wonderful. Um, armor sets. Yes, upstairs. I don't know which ones you had seen that I had before, but I went and got the Spell Knight armor. So we've got the steel, sorry, the iron, steel, and ebony Spell Knight armor. I'm thinking of taking these sets down though, because I've got the ebony set there. I don't need to have the other two up. My Dawn Guard armor is there now. Uh, Wraith Guard and the Dwarven Plate armor the steel soldier armor uh and i've put my various weapons so sunder there uh, bow of shadows there and the couple of bows that i have used previously there's the the um the daedric plate armor set that we got there's the light armor the scout armor set that we got that is the Vigil Veteran armor from the Vigils of Stendar. There's actually four sets of that armor, four slightly different sets. Um, that's another set there. That's, I think, the Enforcer set. Uh, sorry, that's the Steel Soldier armor. That other set over there was the Iron Plate armor. That one there is the Iron Plate uh, hang on, we've got Butterfly in a Jar to put over there, don't we? And then finally we've got the Orc Heavy Plate armor there. And then in the cupboard around here I've got the other sets. I'm not wearing the full silver armor anymore because... Actually it was in this cupboard here, wasn't it? Because I have found... So there's the silver, the Vigil Silver Hand Gauntlets Helmet. And I don't like that helmet. It's supposed to look like a werewolf with its tongue sticking out. And then there's the corrupted vigil armor, which actually, I like the closed faced helm on that, but I don't really like the, like the blood. It looks like it's smeared in blood and stuff. I don't really like that about it. Out of all of the, the vigil of Stendar armor, 
that's the helmet that I like the most. The other two are open-faced helms. Well, the other three are technically open-faced helms. And I just don't really like them. I'm preferring the closed sort of helmets at the moment. Um, yeah, what I'm wearing at the moment is a steel plate helm, which gives me plus 20% archery bonus and some dwarven gauntlets that do the same because I couldn't enchant to that level. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. Uh, was I coming up here for anything else? I've got some stuff I can put away. Yes, let's put all that away. Do, do, do. Oh, we're not putting that away, but we'll put all those away. Uh, there's some books there I can sell. Ingredients. I only want to keep the void salts. The rest I'll sell. Uh, don't need most of that. Yeah. I don't know. I, sometimes I don't mind the look of the open-faced helms. Um, I don't know. At the moment, I'm just in a thing where I'm liking the look of the, the more closed helms. Uh, it's not a major issue. And I found these vampire gauntlets, which I hadn't seen before. And even those vampire boots look sort of new and different. I have another gold necklace I should probably put away to enchant at some point. Right, the next two animal compa- Oh no, that's right, I wanted to go and get... Let's do that. I want to go and make a... Uh, a couple of collars. I'm not sure if... Do I have any just normal leather? I do. So I'll need those, and I need those. And I want two collars. I'm not going to bother with a with a pack. I saw the word was right there. I saw it on the screen. Not ten. Not you know, ten microns before I tried to say the word, and I still couldn't get it out. Oh look, all my veggies are grown already. That was damn quick because it's been less than an hour, real time. Um. Yes, let's put those... No. Let's put those and those back. Very good. Let's equip your collar. There we go. Doesn't that look smart? I don't know whether I should take Sweet Roll with me or not. Sweet Roll is supposed to f be good at finding, like, hidden treasure and stuff. Um, it is tempting. Uh, I'm sort of at the case of I summon Hilda using my spell when I'm partway through a dungeon and I'm running out of carrying capacity. I summon Helda, Helga, give her some stuff, send her off back to home. I can't cast the spell to send her home, but I can just tell her to go back to the house. And everything will be good. Let's get the crossbow out. And in fact, let's go to the exploding fire bolts. And we are going back here. So we need to go to here. But the closest place is Fort Amol. And it's not a big dungeon. So I'm going to do it nice and quick. Um... And considering that I can now one-shot these mages from stealth, it seems like it should be pretty easy. And I, I won't want the bound bow, but 
I'll be able to get the book for it and sell it or keep it or whatever. Normally, I think... Yes. Yes, there is normally somebody there. So I was right this time. Take that. Don't see any signs of anybody else, but we'll do the rounds of the the rooftops because there is often someone up there. And then we need to go in there and in there. Let's just see what the mage over here had on them. And of course there's also the chest. Fire mage. Oh, dwarven dagger. Oh good, petty soul gems. So I've been selling soul gems previously, but now I'm making a concerted effort to keep them because I want to use them to charge up, to, to enchant small rings and stuff, just to get some levels in enchanting. Empty. Some gold. Should get myself a set of fishing clothes, maybe. Should, I'm considering, well, I mean, I don't know. I should consider doing the whole fishing quest line too at some point. Hmm, nobody up here. Well, that's good. Means I can... Oh. It's a barrel and two sacks, Tony. It's not going to be anything decent. Don't worry about it. i got more than enough tomatoes at the moment. If I need to, I can always come back to this location and search everything again. You know what? I'm not going to have much luck getting that guy anymore from that distance, so. Says I'm hidden again. Uh, you don't have anything I want. And I don't need shields. What are you doing there? I don't remember if there's a way up to there over that way, so I guess I'm going up this way again. Well, so I still got to take on that guy up there. We'll check there's no more mages wandering around down there. Not seeing any. About down here. Nope, just a dead guard.
Try not to jump around or too much because I want to make sure that I surprise this guy. Yay, pulling a Steve. Sneak attack. What have you got? Fire resist, robes, and that's it. Is there a door up here to go back down? No, there wasn't. Okay. There is the one down here. Going good, thank you. And yourself? No, I didn't really want to sit down, although it was nice to see the big chunk of ice through my head. Is that a... is that footsteps I hear? Don't think so. Nothing I'm going to want there. End table. Clothes iron. Oh, look. Fire salts I will sell. The wine. Book of Daedra. Ooh, is that more void salt? No, it's frost salt. It'll have to do. Um, fine boot and fishing boot. Alrighty then. down that way. Amulet of Kings. All good. We've got Ocean, Orcish Dagger, Blue Rat Mage Roads. I don't think I've got anything to disenchant. I'm pretty sure I've got quite a few. I, I doubt there's more than a couple of uh, enchantments that I don't have yet. Because I have disenchanted a lot of things. Potion, potion, potion. Well, that was it. That was damn easy. Robes of destruction. It's all just coin at the moment. Right. Out here and into the prison. Which. Get into over here. Yes. This is the fun one. Why is my bow not out? T 
too easy. Now, admittedly, I am level 25, and these guys really haven't leveled up with me. But, uh, a kick-ass crossbow, enhanced crossbow, with exploding dwarven bolts, and three times sneak damage. They didn't have much chance, I'm afraid. Yeah, that certainly cleared the table, didn't it? Wish some of these soul gems were filled, however. Thought there was somebody in here. Was there not another mage in here? Oh, no, I guess not. Just a bunch of cells with nothing in them. Bunch of cells with quite nice beds in them. I want to stay in that prison. Every other prison I've seen in Skyrim... Your bed is a pallet on the floor, if that. It's usually just a pile of straw, which is assumed to be where you're going to sleep. It doesn't actually, you know, identify as something that you can sleep on, as far as the game is concerned. Um, but sometimes you get the pallet, which you can sleep on. Those are actual beds. That's... That's unreal. You got a few gold. You're not going to have anything because those guys have only ever got armor. For some reason. Now, I'm headed... No. That's definitely not it. Okay, I'm headed to that one there, to the northeast. That one there. Let's just be sensible about this. Okay. Oh god, is this spider in a giant camp? Do I have to kill giants to get access to this guy? Because it is superimposed over... ...a giant camp icon. A mammoth camp, if you be precise. Ooh, what sort of ore is that? Doesn't look like it's iron, but it is. goes to prove how terrible I am at determining what is iron ore. Uh, back to regular bolts, please. Oh, that missed. That didn't. Uh, we're going to be all right. The spider's not in the joint. I am tempted to take on these giants and see how I go with all of my equipment. i got to move out of range and get into stealth if I'm going to do it, but I am really curious whether I could take on a giant or not. 
That's two joints, so that would be... But I'm not going to, because live and let live. They haven't done anything to me. Why would I want to kill a giant? I know I can get given a mission later to do that. That is not Iverstead, is it? No. I don't know if I've ever been to that logging camp there or not. It's not really running, uh, ringing any bells. Looks like we have some sort of dungeon over this way that we're probably going to have to delve into to find our spider companion. I gotta say, the spider companion is probably the least of the companions that I really want. I'm almost tempted just to stop where I am and say, yep, I've got the the nice animal companions, you know, the goat, the fox, and the rabbit. It's only the skeever, which, you know, is my least favourite of any of them. And sort of surprised there's no spiders outside this cave. But I'm going to assume there's going to be maybe one or two inside, probably a million. Thought I heard something. It was probably just the sound of me landing in this spot, but... Definitely hearing spiders running around. The only problem is... A, I forgot to sneak. And B, is one of them the one that... is tame? No, obviously not. Oh, look at them all. How did that miss? Got one more to go, is there not? Just one more spider I can shoot at? And I got some back. They were still favoured. No, they're not. Gotta be a big spider in here somewhere.
you are bigger, but you're not the big mama jammer that I am expecting. Whoa, Nelly. You know what I'm really glad of? That the spiders in this game can't climb the walls. Because that would be scary as hell in this situation where there is probably a dozen spiders trying to make their way up to me at the moment. Oh. No, switch back to the normal Dwarven bolts, please. Almost feeling like I... Yeah, they do. They disappear from favourite items when you run out. Um... But I almost feel like I should have steel bolts or something here. Because these guys are just using up. At least for the ones I don't get back. They're just using up bolts when I shoot at these guys. Because they're low level. When I, um... Alright, there. And there's a third one here. Actually, there's a fourth one. I just can't get to him. He's right there. No. Wow, how deep does this go? Not too much deeper, it's all water from there on. Tempted to go in and see if there's anything in the water, to be honest. Quick save and have a look. Yep, there is. Iron greatsword is junk, but the rest is all right. Is there anything? No. Okay. Do 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 do. do. A little sneaking, very good. Ron Vanga Broodle. Sounds incredibly ominous. A bit more. at that. There's a chest. More orcish armor. Anniversary edition is treating me very well, thank you, New Rock. Um, I have come to love the crossbow.
Sleep tight. Took that one down with a single shot. The big mama of the entire place. Dead. One shot. Too easy. But yeah, apart from that, there's also some nice armor sets. Um, the nice dwarven house, although it's a little big and a bit out of the way. Uh, lots of good stuff. I'm definitely enjoying it. <gasps> Moonstone ore. All right. And I'm just getting all the pets at the moment. I'm going to be going back out to the entrance of this dungeon and getting the spider pet. Which, as I said before, is not really what I want, but I've got most of the others. Oh, I got the madness ore. Alrighty then. Did I search you? I did. Right, let's get the bow back out. Let's get back to sneaking. Let's see where this goes. Okay, back to the cave. Very nice. Must be one of those places where you drop down from somewhere else. Yeah, it is. Look at all those spiders down there that I... Destroyed. I won't say decimated because that's not the right... thing. Uh, yeah, no, it's just over here we've got to go. Push the button on the wall, go into the secret area, find the spider. At least that's my assumption. You good, bad, or indifferent? I think you're probably bad. Dead body there, dead body there, inside some sort of ritual circle. I'm going to say that as soon as you know I'm here, you're going to attack. But I don't want to just shoot you in the back like that because the game might consider that murder. So that worked fine. You got anything interesting? Some gold. Okay. Uh, lost the key for the torches as well. It's probably a bit of a Silly idea on my part to assume that there's nothing else dangerous in here. But that's sort of what I'm doing. But I know how dark it is, so I need to see where we're going. So there's our spider pet. Whoops. Felt like there was one more inside.
I saw glowing happening in here. Must have been one of the ones that ran out. Okay. Loot. Junk here, but there's a couple of potions. That's all good. I don't want any of that. What's in the satchel? Oh, there's a minor healing potion. We shall take that. Grab that. Grab that. Strong box is empty. The locked room is lock picking. Very nice. Oh, chest right there, I didn't even notice. Plentiful healing. Yeah, the ash pile outside. Very good. So it was a dead body that was lying in the house that one of the vampires resurrected. And dwarf and bolt, and you have got that and that and that and that and that and that. And the boots are technically all right. Would probably sell them and make a little bit of coin. But yeah. all right then, that way. A little bit further. No, too far. Hmm. So about there then. Okay, you're going to be finicky. This is only adept. Why is it so hard? There we go. Scaled Armour of the Squire, hey? Arcane Enchanter. Vampire Naturalist. Spider Cage Key. What does the book say? While my siblings may be obsessed with the taste that fear imbues in the blood of mortals, I find that pain lends a much more potent sweetness, and nothing is quite so capable of causing pain as the venom of a frostbite spider. But alas, the usual methods of harvesting frostbite venom involves killing the spider, a costly and dangerous venture. Far too little venom can be attained through violent methods for the experiments I wish to conduct. To that end, I have captured a frostbite spider from deeper in that cave, so that I may regularly connect, collect its venom, which seems to be unusually potent. I discovered that it appears to have some measure of intelligence, and I have been attempting to teach it to obey certain orders. Oh, how delicious it would be to have a tamed spider entangle my prey on command. I think I will name it Arachnia. Right. Um, let's be prudent here. Wait for me at home. Mere watch. He can't take a... Um, a collar. I mean, maybe around his thorax, but apparently not. I don't know which way he's going to get out of here. Does this lead... Doesn't lead up and out that way, but I suppose it leads over to here. Which does eventually lead down. So, yeah, okay. I will be able to summon him when I get home. I may or may not decide to just leave him somewhere and say, wait here, and then never come and collect him again. Because I don't really want a spider. Particularly in the house, because it feels like if I have the spider in the house, I'm just going to hear him creaking along. And all those little legs going skitter, skitter, skitter all day long. Same with the, um, Skeever. Right, so the Skeever is 
obviously in the Riften slums, or whatever you call it, in the, the dungeon in Riften. Hmm? What else do I have on the map that it's trying to send me towards? No, there was something inside. Pets of Skyrim. Oh, I know. It's saying inside. It's marking it sort of as inside because I've got to go out of the city. That's the problem. Right. What is the time? 10.40 p.m. Okay. Uh, yeah, over here. We'll... I don't know if this is exactly where I want to go, but... It's a start. Yes, it is where I want to go. Well, yeah, I guess it'll keep insects out of the house. Um... It won't stop the spiders that spawn occasionally outside of the house. Stay out of the ratway. Oh, there's a ghost in the ratway as well? Wow. Okay. It was in the default position, an expert lock set to the default. I want to go through here. Activate the lever, but then I sort of would rather go through the rest of this in the right way to make sure I'm not missing where the spider, where the um, skeever is going to be. be careful because see a skeever down here I shoot it it would not be a good idea to shoot the pet skeever my bolt back thank you what was that 
do do so it's just that one and that one and that one and that one Is that all of them feels like it is don't want any of the mead oh supposed to meet a ghost in the rat way. Find the ghost in the rat way. Person follow the ghost. He is required to unlock the cage. Salonius's confession. Uh, my son, I do not have long for this world, but you know, raised me a great spoon in my heart. Long ago, my brethren were commissioned to hunt down and ensnare a dark and powerful renegade captain. Blah, blah, blah. This is not anything to do with the skeever. May have something to do with the... ghost however we're going to have to look further to try and find some notes on the skeever and, and the key what do we got over that way Oh, I came in here before and didn't even notice the dead woman over here. Free scritch from its cage. No, wrong one. That was the thief's journal. Now we have to look at the... No, the pickpocket's journal. Here we go. Uh, ain't been having no luck at lifting gold off them rich merchants. Blah, blah, blah. Skooma docker, skooma dealers. I've got a funny feeling you're supposed to give the rat skooma. That's fine. I don't. I grabbed the skooma. So, we are all good. Let's go back here. Um, there was also this door it's down that way to the skeever. What's through here? Shadowfoot Sanctum. Okay. Uh, let's equip your collar. And wait for me at home in Mia Watch. Go. Oh, that's an empty skooma bottle. Why would I want that? I didn't actually have to feed him after all. Um, I think I might as well head out of here. There's no sense doing the second part of this dungeon unless I'm actually going to rescue Bugalugs. And I don't need to rescue him, so let's just head out. We are not going... Oh, it actually says we've finished the Pets of Skyrim. Well, there you go. Done everything else, so that's all good.
Port Dawn Guard. We have at least one, if not more, um, void salts on us. So let's make some more shock bolts. And we, no, we could wait for a couple of hours and sell some stuff while we're here. So we will probably do that. I mean, I could just go and wake them up. It's the other option. Dwarven shock bolts. I suppose I might as well make more dwarven fire bolts. I've got them. But I could set no, I'll sell the I'll sell the frost, the fire and frost salts. Ooh. Some Dwemer. This place looks like it's restocked. Um. This stuff is all just going to fall over anyway. You might as well sell it all. What do you need? Nothing from you, sir. You don't sell anything. I don't need leaks. Leave them alone, Tony. Uh, yeah, let's try selling to you little. first. This is everything I've got right now. Hang on, I didn't see if there was anything I wanted to buy from you, did I? Uh, not really anything there. Nothing jumping out at me there. Take care of yourself. Hope you're getting along with Isron. He takes some getting used to. It's sort of a random assortment of things. See anything useful? What can I buy from you? Do you have... You have a Grand Soul Gem filled. Thank you very much. You've got a Lesser. You've got a Petty. Do I want three... Four Greater Soul Gems? Maybe not. Let's see what else I can sell for that amount of money. Those, that and that. And those two, that. Well, hang on. 
I don't think there is an enchantment table here. That's an alchemy one out there, isn't it? No, that's enchanting. Let's make sure we're not dis selling anything we can disenchant. Loves of the Pugilist, I was pretty sure on. The rest we can sell. That's good news. I like what he's... It's sort of a random assortment of things. See anything useful? Okay, she's got no more money. Let's buy one of the greater soul gems for now. all worked out pretty damn good by the looks of it. Got so many of those at home I don't need to have another one. Alrighty then. Let's head home for the moment. I was momentarily distracted by a shiny thing. I saw that there is a weapon that can be found southeast of Riften. And I was considering going and looking for it. Who are we missing? Our skeever friend has not arrived yet. Well. Scritch. Piers. All right. Uh, we have soul gems, ores, stuff like that to put away. Some keys. Let's put those keys away. We don't need to be carrying them around. Here we go. Keys and food is about all I keep down here. So... Radio St. Salvius. Uh... Strong box, let's put that away and that away. We might keep that out and that out. Let's put these ores away for the moment. We have to work out what we do with the madness ore and the amber. I've got a feeling it's probably going to be something Daedric, uh, which I'm not fond of. Uh, potions that can go in there. Good for apparel. We are good for weapons. Right, so. Damn it all, I can hear the pets downstairs. Unless they somehow came up and they're over here. Nope. I can't hear them from here. Over here, fairly close to the door. OK. 
can heal him. Um, let's grab that. Let's grab those. And those. That's right, I didn't end up making all those gold rings then, did I? I don't remember why, but I didn't. Uh, actually, let's go through all of this. Grab all the stuff we can do things with. Um, all of those, all of those. Gonna need some of that. We're going to need... Well, we can convert that. We can convert... Need that. Let's steal there, and let's grab all of those. So, first of all, there's a whole bunch of leather here. So, let's just... Convert all of this. Leather strips. Wonderful. Uh, there was some ore we could smelt. No corundium, no iron. Let's refine that moonstone. Oop, there was a couple of those. And then let's make all the steel we can. Good. Put all that back in here. Iron or leather strips, steel and refined moonstone. Right, what can we make over here? Uh, no, I don't think I can make the Nordic jewelry yet. I think there's a mission I need to do to do that. Okay, um, and of course, I always say this, all of those jewels that I'm currently holding on to, none of them can be used with gold. Uh, the amethyst, the flawless emerald, and the garnets can be used with silver. Nothing else that I've got can be used with gold. It is so annoying. Let's, how many, okay, first of all, uh, let's enchant what we've got going at the moment. So let's do this. We're just trying to get levels in enchanting. So we want to do, let's do the ring. This is really the low end rings first. The silver rings, uh, fortify alchemy, alteration, archery is 300. One-handed is 323. 595 for Fortify Sneak. That is huge. Fortify Sneak is definitely what we want. Um, and go with a Petty Soul Gem there. It doesn't improve it very much. Fortify Sneak, Eddie Soul Gem, uh, and another level. Uh, might be a good idea to stop, level up. Stamina. Got my stamina to 300 now. I'm wondering whether I should start bumping my health up to 200 and then go some more stamina after that. Uh, let's go into enchanting. I can put another point in here. 60% stronger. What are these? Insightful enchanter. Skill enchantments are 25% stronger. That's the next one I want.
Okay. Item. Uh, let's do the silver necklaces. Can we still do the fortify sneak? We can. Oh, actually. Let me... Grab just one of those. I want to see how high I can boost archery at the moment on something, anything. So if I make this a fortify archery, I can go to 22%. That is better than my current gauntlets and helm are. So it might be worthwhile if I could get some more silver, I could remake my silver gauntlets and helm and enchant them and make them better at fortify archery than they currently are. I also feel like I want to do a set of fortify smithing gear. Um, what I really need is some simple clothing don't really have. Um, because I don't have even like... could go and find somewhere like a blacksmith's thing, but it, you know, just well, I've got these around the other side, Tony. I've got a fine hat and those fine arm guards. I could definitely look at enchanting those with smithing, but they're a one-off thing. Once I use them once, I don't have multiples of them to enchant. Let's, let's do this. I'm carrying a lot of stuff I don't really need to, but let's just... I know it's going to be a, a bit of a waste of money, but let's head into Solitude. There is a tailor in there. And maybe I can just buy some clothes here. What's the time? 9.18. Let's buy You've some simple clothes. You have any questions? Oh. Clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. So, um, I just want... Well, yeah, let's do a blacksmith's apron. Some boots. And... There's not really much in the way of gauntlets here, isn't there? Grabber's charm. Rightio. There are gloves. Yeah, let's get some gloves. And then let's get... Super stylish hat. A mourner's hat. Mourner's clothes. Nordic... Amulets and rings and stuff. Nordic circlet. That provides armor. That goes instead of your head armor. Right. Okay. Right. So... The other thing is, is that I believe that the the way to really do this properly, I should have bought two sets of clothes, because, well, I should have bought a lot of things. Fortify Restoration Loop, I think, is what I really need to do to get 
the maximum effort out of this stuff, but I'm not into it. That seems so glitchy and cheaty that I'm not going to do it. But what I will do is 15% stronger. I don't know that that's going to help me all that much. But we'll give it a try. Uh, I'm going to grab all the Grand Soul Gems. So let's have a look. I've got rings and necklaces unenchanted. Um, so what can I put? Fortify smithing onto. It will let me put it on. Uh, body, hands, necklace, ring, and that's it. Okay. That's good. Um, so if I do that, that says it's going to be 13% better. And then I choose a Grand Soul Gem. That's going to say 13%. Let's quit enchanting. Let's quick save. Now let's drink the Enchanter's Draft. Quickly come in. Item Blacksmith's Apron. Fortify Smithing. 14%. So it's only 1% better. And then let's do Fortify Smithing again on gloves with the Grand Soul Gem. Let's do uh Gold necklace, fortify smithing, grand soul gem, and let's do gold sapphire ring. Well, that feels wrong to be doing that. Uh, and even the silver ruby ring. Maybe the garnet ring, because it's not quite as expensive grand soul gem yeah the potion wore off do i have fortify there is no fortify enchanting it's the fortify restoration that makes your enchantments better isn't it or i think it's fortify restoration and an enchanting potion make your uh, enchantments better. Let's chuck this stuff in here because that's our fully enchanted um Yeah, that's our fully enchanted set there. Now, did I still have? I don't still have clothes that I could put the fortify restoration on. What stuff do I have that I could put fortify restoration on? I can do the hat, hat, can't do the arm guards, so it's hat, necklace and ring by the looks of it, although it might be possible, uh, what's some other armour I haven't enchanted yet, did the, that's all got enchantments on it, none of that does, let's grab all of that, 
and just double check that there's not something else I can put Fortify Restoration on because I'm pretty sure I can put it on clothes. Enchantment. Fortify Restoration. Hat. Yeah, clothes as well. I need to go and buy another shirt. I've got a hat. I've got a shirt. Okay. Quit, quit enchanting. Uh, put that in here. Uh, uh, the other thing, let me just quickly refresh myself. The. Oh, I can't make the silver armor. The best armor I can make at the moment, I think, is Dwarven. Nordic. But I don't have... One, two, three... One, two, three, and four. I think I'll have enough steel. I should have enough Quicksilver. It's ebony, and I think I've probably only got two or three of them. I have five. Oh, you little ripper. Uh, so we needed that, we needed that, we needed quicksilver, we needed steel. Boom, 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 we are doing it. Um, and we might as well grab the blacksmithing draft and our blacksmithing gear that 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 and that for when we upgrade this so i might as well put it on now so i don't forget that that no it wasn't that uh it was that that it was that apron, the gloves, the necklace, the ring. There was something... No, that was it. I couldn't put it on a hat. That's right. Okay. So. Nordic. I'm assuming this armor is going to be better than what I'm currently wearing. We will soon see. We will craft that and that and that and that now what do we need to improve these that's the big question quicksilver yes it's quicksilver okay so what i should do is a little bit of a test here how much uh, so currently fortify smithing is forty two fifty five percent better? Let's actually confirm that by taking those off. So let's go back to that. Um, well, actually, let's just put all those on. Hang on, what was my armor here? That, that that and that my armor's 160 that 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 and that it's 154 but i haven't improved any of that yet right and so right now if i try and improve say my armor i'm going to improve it to 91 that's with no no bonuses at all um so then if I put on my apron, my gloves, my, oh, I've still got the wrong necklace on. Why is it not, oh, it was, okay. Anyway, 
that gold necklace and the silver garnet. I just had the silver garnet ring. So I was actually seeing 28% improvement before. What's it going to be now? 97. It was 91 to 97. Okay. And then if I chug the potion, let's quick save. Let's chug the blacksmithing draft, which is an extra 30%. Should go up to about 100. 102 and we'll put all of those back on so that that and that and our armor is now 232 oh yes that is wonderful um and then What was the necklace I was using? I was using that necklace with bows 17%. We can do better than that. Um, and then I had that ring there on, which had bows at 17% as well. So what I need to do now is... I need to get some restoration gear to improve my enchanting. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to put that in there. We're going to put that away and we're going to put that away. Uh, I have the silver armor that I was wearing the other pieces of it there no that's not it silver armor silver boots where did I put those did I put them in there yes that and that so let's get rid of all of that and replace it with the full set of silver armor one two three and four there we go wonderful Uh, so we'll put that armor doo -doo -doo, back in here. So that was steel spell knight armor. I'm also going to put that away. Uh, I'm going to put those two. Just chuck them in here as well, actually, to be honest. Arm guards, hat, the boots. That's not enchanted yet. That's not enchanted yet. Let's put that away. Silver garnet rings not enchanted. That is. That isn't. That is. That is. That isn't. Alrighty then. Um. So I can enchant a ring. with Fortify Restoration. Um, and I'll do that Garnet Ring there. No, I won't, because they've already got an enchantment on them. What the hell? Oh, no, they don't. What am I talking about? Silver Garnet Ring. Okay. Uh, gem, we're just going to use one of our Grand Soul gems. Right. Now, let's put that on. Restoration spell. Come in here. Enchantment. Fortify restoration. On the silver necklace, it's still only 13%. Ransol gem. 
Yes. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Good question. I don't think I'm doing this fortify restoration thing properly, actually, now that I think about it. I don't think fortify restoration improves enchantments. I think it just improves the potions so that they do more. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, um, Let's go and sell a couple of these rings and things. Um, actually, I've got some ebony and stuff I can put away. So let's put away that. I'm going to sell all of these gems because I can't use them. I'll keep the gold on me for the moment. Put those away. Put those away. Put those away. Wonderful. Back to solitude, let's... So I need another set of gloves. Damn it. Everywhere's closed. Is it? Really? No. Another set of gloves and another... Oh! Breeches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really. Let's grab blue robes and is there they don't have any more gloves? I buy their only pair of gloves. Boots, 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 boots. Captain's boots. Clothes. Extravagant robes. Fine boots, fine clothes, fine hat. No gloves. There's no, like, fishing gloves. There's no blacksmith's gloves. No, like ragged gloves. How annoying. Um, let's sell that to you. That to you. That. 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 That's all you want to buy. Let's see if the general store is any better. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Beer and say trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. I mean, I could use something like hide braces. I might have to. Let's uh, see what we can sell first. Can't even sell that. Don't want to sell those or that. So no, we don't want to sell any of that or that. Uh, 
Can't sell that at the moment. Can't sell that. Uh, what have we got? Anything here that I might want? Ooh, two more ebony ingots. Yes, please. They are going to be very useful later on, and I will take the Grand Soul Gem as well, because I'm running low on them now. Um, so, I can now sell that. I think I'm going to sell that, even though it's not enchanted, and I'm going to do the same with that and that, because they're both worth a bit, and I can now sell that. You didn't Okay, I said I was going to buy the hide braces, didn't I? Let's try that. Come back. Hang on a sec. We've got... Yeah, restoration, restoration. Whew, I thought I'd lost them there for a second. Uh, so I just need to put restoration on those two. Okay, very good. So, uh, enchantment... Fortify Restoration on the Blue Robes with the Grand Soul Gem. Yes. And then on the Hide Braces, Fortify. I can't do Fortify Restoration on the Braces. I thought I could. Okay. Well then, we're enchanting. Yes. Let's put the blue robes on uh, we have now got restoration 26 39 percent better that's not a lot it's not a huge amount we do have another enchanters potion that works at 10 percent uh, let's Let's chug that enchanter's potion and let's do all of this armor this new set of armor so we want to do that armor in fortify healing rate 17 percent faster yes then we want to do the boots at fortify sneak i don't think we can do archery on them grand soul gem Yes, and then we want to do the gauntlets at Fortify Archery, 22%. Yeah, it's not, not any better with all this restoration stuff, so I must be doing it wrong. I need to look up what's involved in... Uh, so we do that, Enchantment, Fortify Archery, Grand Soul Gem. Yes, and then we'll do the Gold Ring. Fortify Archery, Grand Soul Gem. Yes, and I still need to do a necklace of Fortify Archery. So we will make that right now. I've got the gold on me. I'll make a gold necklace. And then back over here. Item, gold necklace, fortify archery. That's right, I don't have any other grand soul gems at the moment, do I? Not filled, I have a greater. What's the greater going to be? It's going to be less than 22%, that's for sure. But how much less is it going to be? Fortify archery greater 14 no i shouldn't have sold that other 
that other amulet, or I need to go and find another greater soul gem, which, you know, shouldn't be too hard. Let's switch to our armor. Uh, we want that gold ring on, and we'll take that silver ring off for the moment. Let's put that, that, and that in there. I'm going to sell those because we didn't end up doing anything with them. Um, now I've got one, we've got six, seven. Okay, so let's go and make some more jewellery, two, four, six, eight, there we go, and let's just make some more rings of sneak, Let's use up those hide braces as well. sneak lesser soul gem one more right I probably should just sell all these graters I don't know that I really I mean either that or I should just use them to enchant stuff and make some money and I really need to sell those, that, those, any of these which aren't filled. Oh, I missed a filled one. And that's my restoration stuff. Okay, let's, uh, so how many filled have I still got? Petty and four greater. So that's five. Uh, I've got two rings, I can make a few more. Jewelry. Do one necklace of sneak. If a greater. rings of sneak. I made too many rings again. We need to find another Grand Soul Gem. And we need to sell all this stuff that we've got. But we've got a new set of armor now. Nicely enchanted up. How much damage is our bow doing? 120, and that's missing one enchantment. 
so that's pretty good. Um, let's go to... Let's go to Carselmo in Markarth. See what he's got and what he wants to buy. Oh wow, he's all of this is respawned. Or was this the stuff I missed carrying back last time? I don't recall. No, this is respawned because... Yeah. Uh, that stuff up there I definitely took. Good to see spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. You have a single grand soul gem. That is exactly what I need. And can you purchase... All of this for me, please. That, and you want to sell that, that. I'm going to be really careful with this because the way the thing jumps around all over the place, if I'm not careful, I'm going to end up selling either those ones which aren't enchanted, or I'm going to end up selling my good bow enchanted one. So he won't take any of those. All right. Uh, anything else you've got that I want? I don't really want graters. I mean, I could just buy some more of these filled ones that are lesser so that I could do it, but no, that I could um, continue enchanting stuff to make money. But I'd rather find them and use them that way than sell them. Uh, I don't think I've got anything to sell in like potions no still didn't sell those weapons we'll try the general trader she might buy some of this stuff it's been a while since i've been here so she should be back in coin i could have used his enchanting table just there to um enchant that necklace too if i suppose excuse me but do you know anything about this house seen anyone in seems no one I'm with the vigil of Stendar we believe thank you for your time already said that to me before and it's very annoying that you don't stop saying it okay miss cannibal not all. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Will you buy? Oh, I don't know what of that I want to sell. Let's just concentrate on sneaking ring, sneaking ring, sneaking ring, sneaking. No, oh, you don't have enough money. Uh, hide braces. You have another ebony ingot. No grand soul gems, though. But with that 400, will you now have enough? You don't have quite enough for that sneaking ring. Ah, uh, you got any healing potions? Couple of vigorous healing. That'll do. Don't want to sell that. Do you want to sell that? Come back
Right. Item. Gold necklace. Enchantment. Fortify archery. Soul gem. Grand. Craft. Yes. Done. So, my bow is currently at 120. We go and put the necklace on. And it is now at 135. Wonderful. Uh, we also just got some... Ebony ingots. We've got three more. That's really good. I've got lots of gold still. I'm going to put all those away. And we've got all this Dwemer to sort out. So let's just see what on that we can smelt. Looks like quite a lot. Uh, we have quite a bit of Dwarven metal ingots here as well. It feels like it might be a good idea to go and get ourselves some wood. And do some more smithing. Although we're at 60 smithing, which is good because we can now then improve anything that's enchanted with our next skill point, which we're going to get in no, next to no time. Um, let's grab the woodcutter's axe. I do have... I feel like I'm carrying... Oh yeah, there's a little bit of Dwemer stuff that I don't need. I could sell that. Uh... All of these potions are actually weighing me down. That's what's taking up quite a lot. Um, so, this bookcase, we're going to get rid of some stuff. I don't need to worry here. Although, I'll put the pickaxe away because I'm not using it right now. Uh, we'll sell those gold... No, let's go and put those golden rings back in the enchantment chest for the moment. Uh, where were they? There. Those two. Wonderful. Okay, let's put... There's nothing here that we don't need to keep on us, but let's put 42 Frostbite Venoms. Let's put like 38 of those away. We'll keep those. We'll keep that. Let's just put all but one of those away. Uh, I'm going to sell that, to be honest. Um, but right now, because I want to have as much carrying capacity as possible, I'm going to put all of those, all of those, and all of those away, and just keep the vigorous healing. Food is not too bad, that's okay, and we're going to sell all of that, and none of that weighs anything. Only the torches weigh a little bit. We are all good. So, uh, let's go to Riverwood. Nice middle of the day. Sell what we can to Lucan. And then chop some wood. We only need about a hundred. <laughs> That's a lot. Some may call this junk. Me, I call uh, treasures. How about we sell all of that to you? And those. And I said I was gonna sell that as well. You have ebony ingots and you have grand soul gems. I'm not going to pass either of those up. Uh, I'm not going to buy any more healing potions. Except you've got them. And I can always put them back in the cupboard at home for later use. 
I'm pretty sure there's a quest that I get. If I buy that Nordic ring from him, it'll start a quest to learn more about the Nordic jewellery. Let's quick save first. Damn thieves. Let me just quickly check what it says here about the Nordic jewellery. Maybe you're looking for something particular. We carry just about anything you could need. No, I don't buy it from him. If I buy Nordic jewellery from like Medesi, Bercy Honeyhand, right Endari, line. or Bellathor, they give you a certificate of authority, which you read, and it starts the quest. So that's what oh. I'm going to do. Okay. All good. Let's start chopping some wood. Is that a chopping block right no, there's not a chopping block right there. One of the mods that I played at one point put a chopping block right there. But, um, this is where most of them are. Okay. Actually, I just wish chopping wood would give me some experience, and I wish mining would do the same thing. Only because I am, like, that far. I just need to finish a level in anything, and I get my next level, which I can then use to increase my smithing, or put, or put the point into smithing. Um, like, I should just... How much wood was that? Six. I should just go home and, and use those six wood to get my next level, to be honest. Um, but I can't, because I need a lot of smithing to get another level. There's really nothing else that's close to a level. Like, one-handed, but I'm not using it. I don't even know how it's got to that point. Archery's a little way off. If I, if I chop all the 100 firewood that I need to make or to use up all the dwarven bolts that I've currently got, then all the dwarven ingots that I've currently got, that would surely give me enough levels in smithing that I could get my actual uh, next level. I'm actually interested in making the Nordic crossbow now because A, I have the ebony to do it, but B, I can, I should be able to improve that to the enhanced Nordic crossbow, which should theoretically be better or at least as good as the elven crossbow. But I think once I get this next level, I might actually, once I get this ability to upgrade enchanted items, I might be able to upgrade my elven bow. But the thing is, if I, if I make the Nordic crossbow, it's going to look right. I'm going to have a full... Yeah, I could go and, and, uh, and get some one-handed skill from the Red Guard in Whiterun. That's a possibility as well. I could grab an iron axe and go and hack at a couple of wolves or skeevers or something and get a level in one handed if I wanted to just get a level. How much firewood is that? Because I'm getting bored with sitting here doing that. That's 30. Let's go home. Let's see if we can make a Nordic crossbow. 
and see and see how that looks when we improve it, etc. Okay, the Nordic crossbow is probably going to need. Well, we'll take the blacksmith potion. We're going to need more ebony. I've already got an ebony ingot on me though, but I'm also going to probably, I might need some leather strips. So let's just grab a handful. And we're definitely going to need quicksilver and steel. And then let's grab our smithing setup and put it on that, 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 and that. Let's have a look. Nordic. Rosbo. Oh, I do need firewood and I don't need ebony. Very interesting. Just quicksilver, fire, firewood and steel. So let's make that. And then let's make it an enhanced. Now let's check what it would upgrade to without so 102, that is also 102. The Nordic crossbow is significantly lighter though, for some reason. Okay, so if I then drink my blacksmith potion and upgrade the Nordic crossbow, it's 107. And that's gotten me my level uh, health over to smithing and give me arcane blacksmith please and so what we want to do now is we want to grab refined moonstone and see can we upgrade the elven bow anymore we can and it goes from 90 to 107, which is exactly the same as the Nordic crossbow. So I was right, they are basically at the same level, but I can enchant that Nordic crossbow. It actually doesn't show the other enchantment on the Nordic crossbow. On the elven crossbow, sorry, it's it's got a shock enchantment on it, and of course it doesn't show. Um, let me just have a quick. No, there's like no Nordic bolts. That's fine. Okay, so let me just put stuff away here. Uh, all the ebony can go away, keep all of that on me. I've got a Grand Soul Gem, which I can use to upgrade the Nordic Bow. Or not upgrade, but enchant the Nordic Bow. Let's put all that away, let's put all that away, let's put that away, and that. And then I can put that, that, that. You can equip that, you can equip that, that and that, put that away. So these weapons, yeah, 161 damage. That is insane. Let's enchant. That bow, and we're gonna put shock damage on it. Yes. Still doesn't show what the actual amount of the shock enchantment is going to be. Uh, amount of extra damage is it's going to do. Uh, soul gem, grand soul gem. Wonderful. We're going to use that rather than the elven because it is lighter. It means I can carry more 
later on. So that, and it also fits the theme. We're now completely Nordic armoured up, even though we are what did I say? Imperial. An Imperial wearing Nordic armour. That's all yeah, so I'm going to have to put the enhanced crossbow up there there we go and then we come to here and we go nordic on one beautiful we've got the dwarven bolts equipped in there we've got all of that i don't need to put anything else away in there and I still have all the stuff on me to make more dwarven... No, I don't. I must have put the bolts... I put all the dwarven metal away. I didn't have the dwarven metal on me in the first place. Well, technically, yes, you need a hundred in enchant to put a second enchantment on an item. But that uh miss that um enchantment that comes with the enhancement is not really an enchantment it's just like a pseudo enchantment so it still allows you to put a second enchantment on it i don't know it's a little weird because it's actually the result of you smithing and making an enhanced crossbow by using a normal crossbow and some metal to make an enhanced one and that's what gives it that effect so it's an effect on the item itself it's not an enchantment on the item i didn't make the rules i just exploit them And that's a bunch more Dwarven Bolts, which technically I don't need. Because I've got so many anyway. But it's all experience, and that's a good thing. Uh, so I still need to buy more... Uh, I'm going to need to get some more... Um, uh, um, Grand Soul Gems. I'm going to need to get some more Grand Soul Gems at some point soon. Um, unfortunately, this has been a pretty sort of blah episode today because we haven't really done much interesting. We've gone and got a few pets and then we spent the rest of the time smithing and trying to get the restoration loop thing working and failing miserably at that. So I have to do some more research into how you actually do that. Uh, let's take, say, I don't know, 10 of those, and actually, let's, no, let's do this, let's put, oop, let's put all of these, no, put all of these into the cupboard. Now, what are we going to take? I'm going to take all of, That took everything, Tony. Let's put it all away again. Okay. So, let's grab, say, 10 Frostbite Venom. And I'm going to have to start using those a bit more. Let's grab all of... I did it again! I just instinctively hit R because R is what you normally use to transfer items in and out except when you want to take something out of a bookcase in which case you have to use E this interface okay I'm going to keep all of those on me I'm going to keep a couple of cure disease I'm going to keep ten healing. I'm going to keep 
10 plentiful healing and I'm going to keep even though it's a lot oh, hang on no that's what are we at 62 we want to put away 42 I'm going to keep 20 of those if I can't survive a dungeon with that amount of healing I don't deserve to survive the rest of the stuff can stay in the cupboard. That now means my carry weight is down to 117. I don't have anything extra on me. It's purely just my weapons, my pickaxe, Grim Server, which I, I have to do something about at some point. Try and get rid of the damn thing. Finish the quest to get rid of it. Um, yes. And we are at level 27. Um... I don't know what stuff I want to do next. Um, I could go and get the Divine Crusader armor. Let's do that really quickly. Um, I think... So I've got a quest to go to here and that's exactly where the armor is let's go to the blind cliff cave which we haven't actually cleared out we want to get our bow out um i think down this way there is a fairly easy way up is there somebody on that lookout don't think there is because that's where it is it's, well it's sort of there in that general area there i'm pretty sure down this way like down where this sort of slope is there's a, a fairly easy way you get up to there and then you go up the last little bit um i'm also seeing that person hanging around down there which looks very suspicious so we're going to quick save and we are no Uh, frostbite venom will be five. We are going to frostbite up our legendary crossbow because even if we don't have to use it against that guy, which I think we will, we can use it against the bandits up there. See if we can sneak a little bit closer to this guy see what happens i don't think it's going to go all that well to be entirely honest yes pretty much as i expected he was going to attack as soon as i saw him turn towards me with a spell in his hand he has to die Garnet, some gold. Ooh, another soul gem. Something, another soul gem to sell. And a staff of fear. Wow. So, this is where we want to cross. Even though it's slow going, I feel like I want to sneak up this entire way because some of these bandits... I've only done this a couple of times, this mission to get the... I've got a, I've got two missions up here, basically. I'm going to get the Crusader armor, which I don't actually have a mission to get at the moment. Um, but I will sort of fulfill that mission by finding the armor. Um, but I've got another mission to kill the bandit leader up there, and I think I have to return to... I don't remember which tavern it was, but it's probably not returning to a tavern, actually. It's probably having to go to one of the stewards. It can't be Markarth, because I haven't... And it can't be... Maybe it's Falkreath. I haven't met the steward of Markarth. I haven't met the steward of Solitude. Oh, but no, I would have got it from a tavern, so it doesn't matter. 
I got it from the tavern in Markarth. And that's where I've got to go back to to uh, finish that quest. So we're going to try really carefully to... S to see if we can't... Oh, hello there. We can't get into a position to take out these guys from a distance as you would with a crossbow. I think it's actually pretty hard to find a spot to take on these guys because every time like I've only done this since the quest was updated to have the Divine Crusader armor here. I've only done this a couple of times. And I think some of them just sort of like materialize from the, the around the sides of this place. Oops. Okay. I'm not doing too well at the moment. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But... There's still one more over there. Uh, the game's got me stuck. Where is he? Oh, I've got an arrow through the brain. Oh, it just went away, thankfully. Okay. So, we've done all these guys. You're going to have junk on you, probably. I don't even want the steel arrows. It's 18 gold. Whoop-de-doo. Uh, I mean, that's only 5 gold, I suppose. But I have to go and sell it, which is the whoop-de-doo part. So, this is the light... Crusader armor, the Reforged stuff, and the Sword of the Crusader, which I don't want. That's fine. You have a lockpick and a oh, couple of Dwarven bolts and a dagger I don't want. Bipath's Journal. Rightio, an Orcish Mace, and then you've got the Heavy Armor, the Crusader, which, again, I don't want, but, you know... I got it because did that actually no that won't have given me the quest even though I retrieved all of that stuff Right. Um, hang on. Collect the bounty from Rake. Okay. Understone keep. Yeah, the arrow through the brain would be. Uh, it would cause quite a headache. I don't recommend it. Like the way they live, you won't have to fight you. Who 
are you to approach the Jarl of Markarth? Very well. You may approach the mournful throne. But watch your words. Igman. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here. Hundred gold. Whoop de doo. Okay. I knew it wasn't gonna be much. It never is. But we got that quest done. Yes, we did. Wonderful. Actually, do I have anything to sell here? Mm. Yeah, I have a few things. Actually, I could have sold some stuff to Car. Let's see if Carselmo would take this staff. And if he's got any more Grand Soul Gems, I'll take them. So... I threw those away when I was here the very first time because I couldn't carry them anymore. I'm Calselmo's nephew. Good. I help Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast. He's got a little bit of money. Um, I will sell that. No, I won't. You only have 500 gold. Did you have... You have another Grand Soul Gem. Well, there you go. Now you can buy that. And that and that. I think I need to read this Vipath's journal just in case it contains another quest. What? Was it? Oh, goodbye. No, it doesn't. It was just selling for a suspiciously large amount of money. Uh, no, I want I want you to buy my stuff. I want to sell that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want any of that. Okay. Hang on. I think I have a few weapons I can sell. Need a new bla hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Why would she buy an Eye of the Saber Cat? Not going to complain. Oh, she's got no money left. What the hell? She has no... All right. Don't bother with Tacitus. Useless. Something funny going on there. She didn't have... She's now not even selling stuff properly. And she didn't have a normal amount of money, nor any of her normal stuff for sale. Let's wait for her to sit down and it might reset her cell. Need a new blade? The finest weapons and armor. Much better. Okay. Uh that. Those that. I could wear that because that just goes on your back and provides a bit of extra armor. I'm actually considering it's going to do it. I'm selling okay, most of that. Got anything else I can buy? You got any more ebony? No. Yeah. The reforged armor I don't need. Let's just head home. No, actually, let's see if we can sell that helmet to the 
thing because I don't I don't want just one of those items. I can sell the helmet and this other shield thing which goes on your back like a backpack. Go fiddling with any locks around here. No. Take a look. Yeah, so if I can sell that and that. Well, I'll buy that now. And sell that. Much better. I thought I already took... I did. I took that armour off. The game screwed up. That is supposed to be... the silver armour. And the other armour was put in the thing over there. Uh, you... the crusader armor there we go very nice and all of this oh i've now it's duplicated it i've now got duplicates of this steel spell knight armor oops goes away that go. and I got two copies of the corrupted armor as well So I guess the other thing to do then is to grab that and put it there and grab that and put it there. What crimes have I done that I have to repent for? Eight assaults. That's it. Why is my weapon not not keyed? There we go. It was hot keyed. Quite the little armor collection now. But frankly, running out of space for any more. Like, seriously, that's it. I've got one more mannequin downstairs I can use. Of course, there's like three in, there's like five over in the dwarven place if I want to go and use that as well. And I could go and buy the tundra house. And there's a few more mannequins in there as well, but I don't want to do that at this point. 
Um, okay, I think I'm going to leave it there for this episode. I'm happy with how we're going. This was a little light on on uh, exciting content, but it was certainly some uh, some uh, some new stuff we haven't seen before with the pets. Uh, I am probably going to use the pets a little bit because I can cast the uh, spell to summon them it means that anytime I feel like I need one of the pets around I can just summon them straight away so if I'm sneaking through a dungeon I can summon the fox and see what he does and then if I'm uh, if I end up carrying too much I can summon Hilda and she can carry some more stuff for me so that's all going to work Yes, um, yep, I plan to be streaming this weekend. Uh, so that should be good. Um, not entirely sure about tomorrow. I've got to go into work tomorrow. Uh, rather than working from home, I've got to go into the office. I don't have to, but we've got a guy leaving, so go out for lunch, etc. Um, which just means I might, if I do stream, I might be starting a bit later than normal, but we'll see anyway um yeah really happy with how this playthrough is going absolutely loving it with the crossbow as i've said multiple times um i hope you're enjoying it too and i will catch you all next time thanks a lot bye now